voice at me, young man. <laughs> Don't raise your voice at Let me. Let me finish, I, Mr. Anopasa. Let me finish. I'm your guest. So, since President Tinobu, you know, my correct loving and wonderful people, no be smart, you know, no be smart you know, at all, at all. Sometimes I ask myself, what is our problem in this country? In as long as I keep asking myself, I have never ever provided an answer to that my question. Maybe today, you guys are going to provide an answer to this question. No be smart, you know. We can all remember that this video has been circulating around social media where TV presenter. Rufai Oseni had an interview with an APC member and the interview turned to something else. The interview turned to a quarrel, according to the man. But when I listened to the interview, I didn't see anything wrong from the part of Rufai Oseni. He was just asking a question that concerned Nigerians, a question that is disturbing in this country. Some things that are going wrong that nobody has been able to come out to tell us what the solution should be and why we are where we are today. And the man, instead of answering the question or taking an excuse that, okay, maybe I won't be able to answer the question, he got angry and started raining insult rather and claiming that Rufai Oseni is the one not respecting him. My correct loving and wonderful people. This has caused a lot of reactions on social media. So many people are coming up with different opinions, different contributions to what actually happened in that interview yesterday. Well, we cannot mention all the people that have come out. But let us hear from this young man, Yul Edoshe, who has been the subject of discussion right from the day he announced his second wife. <laughs> he also came out to at least in one way or the other, to drop his own sense, which does not mean anything. When I went through it, my correct loving and wonderful people, to me, it doesn't mean anything. Maybe we should listen to him first before we add our own contributions. <coughs> listen. Is this not the same uh, Rufai Oseni? Same Rufai Oseni that was caught uh, driving against traffic. I think he drove on uh, BRT Lane. I think that was last year or two years ago or three years ago. I don't know. Somewhere in Lagos. Rufai Oseni, same guy. He drove on BLT lane, which is wrong. And when officials caught him, instead of apologizing, you know, and admitting that he was wrong, what was he saying? He was saying that he, he was shouting, do you know who I am? I want to call, I'm going to call the governor of Lagos State. Is it not the same Rufai Oseni? <laughs> same Rufai Oseni that is insulting people on national TV, all in the name of, uh, of doing journalism. My friend, shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down. I'm talking to you. You don't have no rights. You don't have any moral justification to, to, to talk where men, people with integrity are talking. I mean, you're talking nonsense on, on national TV. You're a very disrespectful person. You have no respect for the laws of this country. In fact, if somebody like you becomes president, you, believe me, you'll wipe out Nigerians. Are you not the same person that was caught driving on BLT lane? You could not even apologize. If not because somebody had a video, a video was made. That was the only time when you saw the video, that was when you came on, on national TV to apologize. If there was no video, what would have happened? This is what you do. Just imagine the other ones that we don't, we, we've not seen before. How can you invite somebody? I don't, who taught you journalism? Believe me, who taught you journalism? The first thing they should have taught you is to respect your guests. If you have a guest and you're talking in a particular manner and the guest does not like it, first thing you do is to apologize to that guest. Make the guest feel comfortable, then you continue with your question. How can you tell a guest that if the guest is not comfortable, the guest is free to walk out, walk out of the studio and you call yourself a journalist? What nonsense? What kind of taught you journalism, Rufai? I am talking to you, Rufai Oseni. You're not better than anybody out there. You're a very disrespectful person and you should go and learn journalism. You are insulting people on national TV. The video is there on the internet. It's there. Somebody can call it up. Call up that video and post it. And you will see who Rufai Oseni is. Same Rufai Oseni that is insulting people, acting like God on national TV. Making your guests very uncomfortable. You deform like you you know, you get Nigeria. You are the most concerned citizen. You are more concerned than all of us. My friend, shut up. Shut up, Lufayo Seni. I'm talking to you. You have no moral justification.
you talk to anybody on national TV that way because you're not better than any Nigerian. You are not. If nobody will tell you, I will tell you to your face, Rufai Oseni, you are, do, you are getting it wrong. That is not journalism. You are even laughing. I saw you on, I watched this video. You are even laughing at your guests. What, what rubbish? Who taught you? Where did you, where did you learn your own journalism? Which, which country? Where? Huh? You're a very disrespectful person, Rufai Oseni. You're getting it wrong. And I'll tell you to your face. Listen to me. Jagaban, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the president of Nigeria. That's the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, okay? GCFR. He is the president of Nigeria. Whether you like it or not, he is our president. You must respect him, okay? Give him the respect that he deserves. If you feel like being president, you have the next four years. Go and buy form and contest. And of course, President Tinubu will defeat you. The man just came in. He's been there for just months. Give him time. Rome was not built in a day. You're not better. You, Rufai Oseni, I'm talking to you. You're not better than any other Nigerian out there. Ordinary to apologize on, on, because you drove on BLT lane. You couldn't do it. You were shouting on the road. If not that camera caught you, shouting that you want to call the governor of Lagos State. So how are you better? Stop it. Have respect for our president. And the man deserves to be given time to work. Rome was not built in a day. He's been there for a couple of months. He needs time to fix the country. Mr. Yul Edoche, what do you know about journalism? Have you ever in your life practiced journalism? And if at all you have done, we are not talking about acting film, keeping your face as safe. <laughs> in fact, we are not talking about that. We are talking about journalism. People who are learned. People who are well-read. People who can stand to challenge you. In fact, they are, they are multi-talented. They, they have so many areas that they can defend what the statement they have made. Then you coming to say or coming to tell Rufai Oseni for the question he asked APC member because we all know that you claim to be an APC member. And the reasons why you are talking like this, you want to be noticed. You want relevancy. You need something on your table. You need appointment, small appointment, or small message that will give you one or two million naira. That is exactly what you're looking for. Otherwise, a country that a naira or a dollar is 1,300 naira. A country that a bag of local rice is 48, 50,000 naira, yet we have land. A country that has crude oil and a liter of petrol is 640 naira. I bought it yesterday. A country that has crude oil. We are talking about diesel, which is 1,000 something naira for a liter. And you said people shouldn't ask questions to know. People shouldn't ask APC why they brought us to this place that we are today. I want to remind you, before APC came into power, a bag of foreign rice, not local rice, foreign rice was 8,000 naira. A bag of foreign rice. Today, go and ask a bag of foreign rice. After ruling this country for eight years, and they have started another eight years. Go and ask. Then, the worst is even as Tinibu came in. Everything has just scattered. It's the worst. Eh? One-sided appointment, just as uh, Muhammad Bouhari did. Then, at what point... Should we start looking for corrections? If everybody will come and repeat what the immediate past have done, then when should we start looking for corrections? Well, I wouldn't blame Yul Edosheo. We all know what he is looking for. Otherwise, and at another thing I want to believe, our major problem in this country is poverty. If the highest number of citizens we have are doing well, have what they need, who will be coming out to talk like this? You are talking like this in your mind, in your conscience. You know for sure that you're not saying the right thing. But you are saying it because of your pocket, because of the stomach infrastructure. You're saying it because you need something to be given to you. Then you sell the rest of the citizens just for your own selfish interest and become Udogu, Udogu. You move and people be praising you. Well, my Korea loving and wonderful people, I'm not, I'm not like trying to criticize Yul Edoshe, but I am saying it categorically.
that the statement does not marry at all it doesn't go at all all somebody who has who knows what is happening in this country and has a promising future and know what is good for himself or for herself cannot come and be talking like this because i see nothing wrong that rufai did by asking a question and even when rufai said the country is stuck the country is just like we don't there's no directions the man said no it's not like that. Okay, why should you blame President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinibu? But President saw all this. He still went into election. He did all what he could to win this election. With the mind that is coming to do something, let him do it. That is what we are talking about. Let him do it. Please, Rufai, keep asking them terrible questions. Keep asking them. People like you, Ledoshe, cannot stand where you are. Let him go and continue marrying different wives and allow learned people to talk. <laughs> My correct loving and wonderful people, please, you guys, you forgive me. I'm not trying to bring anybody down. I'm not trying to say anything that will affect another person. Who am I to even do that? I don't have the right. I'm not in the position of doing that. But what we are saying is, let us face the truth. We lack truth in this country. Anybody that is saying the truth, that person becomes an enemy of progress, an enemy of other people because you're saying the truth. The only thing that will help this country to move forward is the truth. Let's start practicing the truth. What is happening here is wrong. It's not happening well. They are not doing what they're supposed to do. And who are the people to talk? Journalists are like an intermediary between the citizen and the government. They need to talk. Let the government hear. Let the government be aware that this is what is happening. Maybe some of them are not even aware. Let journalists talk and let them be aware. If you don't ask, okay, assuming the man came and Rufa is just romancing with him. Uh, this will, okay, huh, we are sorry. Uh, why is this? Uh, this what is not happening. Uh, hey, he would have been a better person. But because he's telling, asking him questions that consigned citizen question that we need to understand we want to hear is now a problem well we keep hoping on god that one day one day one day we shall come out of this wilderness my correct loving and wonderful people thank you so much for watching remain ever blessed please if you're here and you still haven't subscribed show us some love please ember mon yes we're in ember she was at ember mon love oh, by clicking on the subscription button and if you're new oh my god we want to register you we want to know you as a member of this our community please do well to subscribe so that we'll know you thanks so much by doing that and god bless you especially this ember mon bye for now till we meet again same session